Mr. Henry Phones built the uh, golf course and uh, he studied a lot of golf over overseas and uh, he really wanted to have the toughest golf course in America. Oakmont Country Club is revered as one of the destinations for championship golf in the United States, if not worldwide. Uh, it's held more combined national championships than any other club and more U.S. Opens than any other club. And the membership takes great pride in the history of the club and always keeps an eye to future championships. When you have these championships and they immediately say before the event is over that we would like to come back. And uh, we've always said here at, at Oakmont and, and the board uh, and the membership that uh, they take a lot of pride in the fact that they really believe that they have a partnership with the USGA and they think it's great for the game of golf. There was a history of higher nematode populations and turf stress at Oakmont as there are several other clubs, countless clubs in the Northeast. And uh, we were trying to actually figure out what was going on. The, the putting greens and the, our unique Poani, it just was not responding to the way that it actually used to respond at one time. And it took us some time to actually figure it out. Found that we had very high counts uh, of nematodes. And uh, that was a surprise because, you know, in Pittsburgh, you don't really talk about a nematode challenge. So that's when we kind of discovered it. In the U.S. in general, we generally think of nematode problems. Traditionally in the southeast U.S. where nematodes are very prolific and have been a problem on golf courses for quite some time. As time has evolved here over the last 10-15 years, we're starting to see more and more occurrence of nematodes being identified in the northern tier of the country. We have uh, superintendents just that aren't familiar with them and the type of damage that they may cause on a golf course. As we all know, working with a compromised root system, and a non-optimized physiological system, any turf grass is going to predispose the plant for other stressors, more specifically weather-related, other pathogens, insects. If the plant's not performing at its best, uh, it's not going to withstand other stresses and it's not going to provide the optimal playability that the membership seeks on a daily basis. You know, when you're coming into 2016 or the U.S. Open, or really, honestly, any year here at Oakmont, uh, because we put a tremendous amount of stress on these greens is how can we have the strongest, best turf to set ourselves up for the summer. We went back and looked at all of our agronomic programs, airification, studied our nematode counts and you know, tried to put a program together of how we're going to move forward to, to, to manage this. Therefore, partnering with Bayer and their team of skilled, trained researchers helps us to utilize the newest in plant protective technology to help us to afford, once again, the healthiest turf grass and the best playability we can on a daily basis. The reason we went with uh, Indemnify is the fact that Bear worked with us very, very closely. I think they were very much concerned that they could bring uh, the product and we would feel comfortable and testing and they were here when we made applications they were here with us the entire time that we did this. It is very rare to incorporate any new products not only months before US Open National Championship but even um, a year two years in advance. Uh, you really try to stick to what your recipe is what's worked in the past minimize variables minimize risk however when working with Bayer we know that there's a level of safety a level of testing a level of research that exceeds that afforded by many other product manufacturers. So I think working closely with Bear, knowing Bear's reputation, having Bear's experience, we felt a little bit more comfortable trying to incorporate the new Bear Indemnify product leading up to the U.S. Open. Our goal would come into the spring of 16 to have you know the, the best possible roots on our putting greens as possible. And we achieved that. It's probably the best rooting that we've ever seen. And then by following up using the Indemnify, we maintain that all through the summer, which is quite incredible. When you can actually document that and, and, and really see it, um, that's, that's pretty impressive that we, we knew we were doing something different and we believe the Indemnify was a big, big part of that. We at Bear truly believe that, you know, every superintendent out there is really kind of a touch point. It's, it's, it's about that relationship and it's invaluable. Um, a lot of our products uh, evolve into maybe new solutions, new opportunities, and that really is a result of the relationship with that golf course superintendent. It was very easy to incorporate Indemnify into our current uh, plant protectant fungicide nematode program. We're big believers in bare products, and using Indemnify as a rotational product, mainly targeting nematodes, 
Uh, there were no compatibility issues, there were no mixing issues, there were no safety issues. We felt very, very comfortable with incorporating the Indemnify product. And with that being said, nematodes provide such a unique, significant threat to turf grass health and playability that it became one of the foundational products very quickly and that our other rotational programs and our application programs in the past, we would alter those around the Indemnify product if necessary due to the importance of battling nematodes.